All right, guys, we got about a minute till we get started here. I'm going to let some more people sneak on in. All right, so guys, nobody told me what they wanted to do today, so I decided to do what I needed to do today, um, which is a little bit of hamstrings and core and just kind of leaving everything on the mat. Um, you know, after, I think it's been about two months since we've been in quarantine, I'm ready to get out of here. So, um, so yeah, I'm ready to let go and just kind of leave all of that on your mat. So that's kind of the plan for today. Um, I do have, I'm not going to lie to you, I have one crazy pose planned, and hopefully we have time to get to it. Um, when we get to that pose, do it if you can, watch us and see if anybody can do it if that's what's calling you today. Maybe just hang out in the lesser version. All of that is great. Just remember to listen to your body. And it is 6 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. We are going to start on our back. So whenever you're ready, just take your time laying on your back. Your knees can be bent with your feet on the floor. Your legs can be stretched straight out. Or soles of your feet together, knees falling open. Kind of whatever you feel like you need. And then no matter where your legs are, I'm going to ask you to bring both hands to your belly. And just take a deep breath in here. Really feel that belly fill up. And open mouth, exhale, let it go. Take another deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Big, deep breath in. Last, open mouth, exhale, release. Take another deep breath in and hold at the height of your inhale. And as you exhale, slowly control all the air out your nose. With every inhale, feel those hands rise. And with every exhale, slowly let it all go. Beginning to make every breath a little longer, a little slower, a little deeper. Begin to smooth out your breath, getting rid of any hiccups or pauses. And then begin to breathe fully into your body. So with every inhale, your ribs are going to spread wide apart. With every inhale, the air is going to go all the way to your pelvic floor and all the way up through the crown of your head. Green space between each vertebrae. Then begin to constrict the back of your throat for anxiety breathing. This should make an ocean-like sound loud enough for you to hear, and maybe even your neighbor. This is the breath of yoga. This is the breath that'll begin to warm you from the inside out. This is the breath that'll get you through the pulses. And if you do nothing else today besides breathe, then you are doing yoga perfectly. And as we set our intention for practice today, I want you to begin to notice the space beneath your hands. To so notice that this is our third chakra. This is where we hold things like pride and self-worth. We hold feelings like anger and guilt. All of these things get stored in our belly. So today, as we move and we flow, notice what comes up for you. Notice it and then decide if it's something you need to deal with or if it's something you can just let go of your energy. And so whatever this is, whatever this brings up for you, create a one or two word mantra. And just repeat that a few times to yourself. Then when you're ready, gently draw your knees into your chest as you give yourself a nice big sweep. Maybe rocking from side to side if it's comfortable for you.
When you're ready, gently come back to center. And we're gonna keep our right knee into our chest and let our left leg rest out on top. Don't keep squeezing that right knee in. Maybe you draw it slightly toward your right armpit to stretch into that hip a little bit differently. Then reach your right leg straight up to the ceiling, grabbing behind your thigh. If you're feeling really flexible, you can grab behind your calf, but remember that your hamstrings are pretty particular. They don't like to be overstretched, so be gentle with them when you first start flexing. And while you're here, maybe you want to flex and point your feet. Maybe you want to make some ankle circles. Maybe you want to see if you can spread all five toes apart. Just taking those moments to connect to the back of your foot. Then when you're ready, take a bend in your right knee. Bring your right leg and your right hand and just gently let that leg open to the right side. Try and keep your left hip down on the mat. Maybe that's with your hand. Maybe it's just you're able to do it if you are good for you. Just let that knee fall open. Inhale your right knee back up to center. And as you exhale, cross that right leg over your body. Coming all the way into that gentle twist. Reach your right arm out and see if you can get your right shoulder blade to touch on the mat, even if your right knee doesn't touch down on your left side. Inhale, come back to center. Draw that right knee into your chest. Give yourself a nice little sweep. And then gently switch sides. Let that right leg come out, bring that left knee into your chest. Once again, maybe you just draw it in towards the center, maybe you draw it slightly out for that left part. Inhale your left leg high, grabbing behind that left thigh. Like I said, if you're really flexible, maybe you grab behind that calf, but if you're like me, it's just your thigh. And while you're here, maybe you want to flex and point your foot. Maybe you want to make some ankle circles. Maybe you want to see if you can spread all five toes apart. Take a bend in your left knee, left leg in your left hand, and just gently let that left leg fall open. Try and keep that right hip down on that. Breathe. Inhale your left knee back up to center. Then exhale, cross it all the way over your body as you come into a twist here. Try and get that left shoulder to rest on the mat, but remember it's still the beginning of class, so be gentle with your body. Inhale, gently come back to center, draw your left knee into your chest and give yourself a nice little squeeze of that left. And then bring your right knee up to the hip. From here, we're gonna begin to rock forward and backwards. Taking about four or five rocks to make your way all the way through the tabletop. So we're not going to stop at the seated branch all the way through. However, if that's not for you, get your way up to seated and then to the tabletop, however you can. All the way up and find yourself in the tabletop somehow magically. As you inhale, that means drop your stomach, lift your gaze. Exhale, curl your spine, gazing toward your belly button. Inhale, gently drop your stomach, lift your gaze. Exhale, curl your spine. Inhale. Exhale. And just continue to do this at your own pace, linking your breath to your movement. And take another moment to take any other movements that feel necessary, that feel good. So maybe that's twisting at your hips. Maybe it's hinging forward and backward. Just whatever you need this evening to begin to invite that body to start to open up, to start to move, to start to release that day and whatever brought you here. Two more full breath cycles and meet me back head in your toe. So in your neutral tabletop, your fingers are going to be spread wide apart. You're pushing down through your hands, but lifting through your shoulders. Full navel to spine and let your tailbone grow to one end of the room and crown your head to the other. 
Then when you're ready, reach your right arm forward like you're going to shake somebody's hand and draw that shoulder blade back. Step your left toes behind you, maybe lift them up off the mat. So try and keep that arch out of your low back. So if your low back starts to arch, try pulling navel to spine and maybe lowering through that left leg. Breathe. Take a moment here in the spinal balance to breathe, to notice if you're feeling wobbly, and to notice and without judgment, without creating. Then take an inhale here. And as you exhale, draw your elbow and knee together under your feet, really using that core. Inhale, stretch it back out. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, straight. One more time. Exhale as you squeeze. Inhale as you straighten and hold. Three. One more inhale. Exhale, set everything back down on the mat. Shake out anything you feel like you might need to shake out. And then when you're ready, reach that left arm forward. Draw that shoulder blade back into place. Step your right toes behind you, maybe lifting them up off the mat. Once again, notice that low back. If you're starting to arch, pull navel to spine and lower through that right leg a little bit. Great. Take a moment to notice the difference between both sides. And knowing that there's probably a difference and that's okay. Take an inhale. Exhale, draw your elbow and knee together underneath you. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze, use that core. Inhale, stretch. One more time, exhale as you squeeze. Inhale as you stretch and hold. Breathe, find that balance. Take one more inhale. Exhale, both hands, exhale everything back down to the mat. Shake out anything you need to shake out. And when you're ready, curl your toes under, back, down to the top. Just take a moment in your down dog to bend one knee and bend another. Once again, inviting that back body to start to open. If you really want to get into that twist, get into your hips, you can really bend those knees. And then when you're ready to find some stillness in your down dog spine, that stillness. Your fingers are spread wide apart. You're pushing down through the base of your index finger and thumb. Shoulder blades slide down your back, pull navel to spine and tilt your sit bones up to the ceiling, even if that means that they can see. Breathe. From here, we're going to inhale up to our very tippy toes, stretching through the bottoms of our feet. Exhale, bend your knees, let them hover an inch or two off your mat. Inhale, push forward to play top of a push-up pose. Exhale, push back, down dog. Inhale, up to those very tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees, let them hover. Inhale, push forward to play. Exhale, push back, down dog. One more time, inhale, up to your very tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees, let them hover. Inhale, push forward to play. Exhale, push back, down dog. Then inhale, look back at your toes. And as you exhale, walk your hands back toward your feet. So you're coming in a forward fold at the back of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Really pin your shoulder blades together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach as you come all the way up to standing. Exhale, cactus your arms, take a back bend, really open through that chest. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Exhale, plant your hands and walk yourself forward into a plank, top of a push up. And we're going to hold our plank. So push down through your hands, lift through your shoulders. Full navel to spine, engage your feet. Gaze a few inches in front of your fingers, so about the front edge of your mat. So if you look down, you're going to want to go down. Breathe. Let that body warm up. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, hinge slightly forward, shoulders in front of fingers. And exhale, slowly lower down to your mat, tuck the hips touch at the same time. Top of your feet, not engage your legs. 
home able to find pain your shoulder blades together and inhale gently to lift that chest up off the mat. Little to no weight in your hands. Exhale, curl your toes under, push back, down dog. Inhale, look back at your feet. Exhale, walk your hands back toward your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach as you come all the way up to standing. Interlacing your fingers, palms face up. Then exhale, lean to the right, stretching through that side body. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean to the left, stretching through that other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, tap to those arms, take your back bend, really opening the heart center. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, create that next spot back. Exhale, plant your hands and walk yourself forward in that plank. Breathe. We're going to hold our plank again. Push down to your hands, lift to your shoulders. Pull me able to find, engage your legs. Gaze a few inches in front of your fingers, breathe. Maybe this time you try smiling because it's not so bad. Take an inhale. Then as you exhale, shift all your weight into your right hand. As you inhale, your left arm high, coming into side plank. Inside plank, your bottom knee can rest. You can put one foot in front of the other or feet step to your choice, but we're lifting up. Up through that top hand, up through your hips, breathe. Take an inhale. Exhale that left hand down and inhale your right arm high. Same thing. Bottom knee can rest. One foot in front of the other or feet stack. Either way, you're lifting up. Up through that top hand, up through your hips, breathe. Take an inhale. Exhale that right hand down to mat and inhale, hinge slightly forward. Then exhale, slowly lower down to your mat, letting your knees rest first as you need to. Top of your feet to mat, inhale, gently lift your chest for cobra. Create a nice long neck here. Exhale, curl your toes under, push back, down and up. One more time, inhale, look back at your toes. And exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach as you come all the way up to standing. This time we're going to interlace our fingers behind the small of your back. Gently roll those shoulders up and down your back and take an inhale. And as you exhale, take a slight back bend here, lifting through that chest. Take another inhale. And leaving your hands like they are, exhale, begin to hinge at your hips as you fold. Lift your hands up off your hip bones and take a bend in your knees here if you need to. Let that head and neck hang heavy. Take an inhale here in the center. Then as you exhale, turn and look over your right shoulder, letting your hands fall to the left. Gentle twist. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, turn and look over your left shoulder, hands fall to your right. Inhale, center. Exhale, your hands down to the small of your back, then all the way down to your back. Inhale, halfway lift, create that nice flat back. Exhale, plant your hands and walk them forward to make that into that one. Right hand stays down, then inhale your left arm high. Exhale, your left hand down, inhale your right arm high. Exhale, your right hand down, inhale, hand slide forward. Exhale, slowly lower down to your mat. Inhale, either gently lift your chest for cobra or begin to straighten your arms for up dog. Exhale, curl your toes under, push back, down dog. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. So at any point in time, you can skip down dog and rest in child pose, if that's what's calling you today. And anything we do from down dog, you can do from tabletop. So take what your body needs today to stay with your breath. Inhale that right leg high. Exhale your knee toward your nose as you come forward in that leg. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale knee to right elbow. 
Inhale your leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow, twisting it underneath you. Inhale your leg high. Exhale your knee to your nose. And then step that foot forward in between. Push your foot forward if you need to. And then just take a moment here to play into your hips. Maybe a little up and down. Maybe a little side to side. Maybe a little forward and backward. Just whatever you need. Then when you're ready, gently come back to center. As you inhale, sink into your hips and gently lift that chest for runner. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, slowly think about straightening through your front leg, knowing it maybe it will probably come nowhere close to straight, and that's okay. Stay here for a moment. Give your hamstring a second. Take an inhale. Exhale, take a bend in your front knee into your hips, gently lift your chest. One more time, inhale, slowly think straight through that front leg. Exhale, as you take a bend in your front knee, kick into your hips. When you're ready, push down to your front heel and inhale, arms reach, high lunge. So at any point in time, your back knee is always an option. You can always drop down to it, but we won't be in high lunge for that long. If you're staying up on the ball of your back foot, your back feels lifted. Your back leg is strong and engaged. No matter what your tailbone's going on to the mat, pulling navel to spine, reach to your arms, relax those shoulders away from your hips. Breathe. Take an inhale. Then as you exhale, cactus those arms, take your back bend really open through that chest, lengthen through your collarbone. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, your hands to hurt center. Then as you inhale, shift all your weight into your front leg as you lift your back leg up off the mat to stand your warrior three. Trying to bring your body parallel to the mat three. Once again, if you're on target, if you had a rough day, any of these things may cause your balance to mess up. So if you fall over, laugh, come back in. It's all great. It's all yoga. Flex through that back foot. Make that back leg nice and strong. Take an inhale and an exhale. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you want to add a little bit of challenge. So as you inhale, you're going to take a micro bend in your right knee. As you exhale, you're going to slowly straighten it. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. One more time. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Take an inhale. Exhale, your fingertips down to the mat or onto a block or water bottle or book or whatever it is you have. And lift that left leg up a little bit higher for standing foot. Head and neck hang heavy. Breathe. From here, we're going to inhale halfway lift. So it's kind of like forward fold halfway lift, except for your left leg still. Pull me able to spine. Take an inhale. And then exhale, and when you're ready, inhale. So we come up to one leg of Tadasana, lifting that left leg up nice and high. Three. Flex through that left foot. Engage that left leg. Keep breathing. One more inhale. Exhale your left foot to meet your right as you sink back into chair. Heel toe those feet together. Squeeze your inner thighs. Roll all your weight to your heels so you can lift all ten toes. Breathe. From here, you might want to start by tucking your tailbone too far under and arching it too far out. And keep doing that till you find your happy medium place. Home able to find lift through your chest, reach through your arms, relax through your shoulders. Sink a little bit deeper. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank. And you can either lower and go through that flow. Or exhale, push back down dog your child pose, skipping that flow all together. Your choice. Your practice. Take what your body needs today. Once you find your resting pose, take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. Inhale your left leg. 
exhale your knee toward your nose you come forward into that plank remember you can do this rough table top inhale your left leg up exhale knee to left elbow inhale your leg up exhale knee to right elbow inhale your leg up exhale step your foot forward in between your hands once again pushing it forward if you need to so take a moment on this side to play into your hips. So maybe that little up and down, maybe a little side to side, maybe a little forward and backwards, whatever you need to end. Then when you're ready, inhale, sink it into your hips and gently lift that chest runner one. Take an exhale. Inhale, slowly think about straightening through that front leg, knowing this side may come nowhere close to straight and back. Take a moment here. Breathe. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend your front knee, sink into your hips, lift your chest on the front. Inhale, slow and straight. Exhale, bend. Inhale, high lunge. Down through that front heel, full navel spine for your back knee, still an option. That back heel lifted if you're not on your back. That leg is strong and engaged. No matter what, tailbone grows long. Pull navel to spine. Reach through your arm and relax through those shoulders. Take an inhale. Exhale, cactus those arms. Take your back bend, really opening through your chest. And it's like a deeper shoulder opener. You're going to draw your elbows together behind your back. Breathe. Inhale, come back up, arms reach. Exhale, your hands to heart center. Inhale, elongate through the crown of your head. Exhale, shift all your weight into your left leg as you reach that right leg up off the mat. Warrior three. Try to bring your body parallel to the mat. Left through that back foot, only able to spine breathe. Fall over, relax, come back in. And once again, you can stay here if this is enough. Even if you moved on the other side, you can stay here. If you want to add that movement, as you inhale, take a slight bend in that left knee. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. One more time. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Take one more inhale. Exhale your fingertips down to the mat, the block, the box, the book, whatever you have, and lift that right leg up a little bit higher. Head and neck hang heavy. Three, standing split. Let that head and neck hang heavy stretch through that hamstring. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Full navel to spine and neck. Inhale, slowly come up to one leg of Tadasana. Lifting our right knee up next to high. Three. Left through that right foot. Relax through your shoulders. Take this moment, find your stability or lack thereof. Whatever is happening for you today. Take an inhale. Exhale, chair. Heel toe your feet together. Take a bend in both knees. Shift all your weight to your heels. Find that flat low back. Full navel to spine. Lift through your chest. Think a little bit deeper. Last chair, I promise. Take an inhale. Exhale, forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank. And either lower and go through that flow. Or exhale and push back, down and up. Your choice. Your practice. Take a deep breath in, open mouth, exhale, release. And as we go into this next flow, I realize my version of crazy pose and your version of crazy pose might be a little bit different. So bear with me, get through this. This, this is not the sequence I meant, my one crazy pose. Inhale your right leg high. Remember, you can do this from tabletop. Exhale your knee toward your nose as you come forward in that pose. Inhale that right leg high. Exhale knee to right elbow. Inhale your leg high. Exhale knee to left elbow. Hold here. Breathe. 
We're going to kick that right foot out to the left side. So it's going to stay underneath us, but kick out to the side. Then you're going to inhale that left arm high as you roll onto the inner edge of your left foot. So you're inside plank with a kickstand for fallen triangle. You can stay here and keep lifting up, or you can stare at your right toes. Maybe if you stare at them hard enough, your foot will lift up off the mat. Maybe your toes just wiggle. Maybe nothing happens. That's great. Take an inhale. Exhale your left hand down. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale your knee towards your nose. And step that foot forward in between. Inhale, open up. Warrior two. So in warrior two, your back foot's resting on your mat. Your back foot parallel to that back edge and you're pushing down to the outer edge of your back foot. Your hips are facing the side wall and at the same time, draw your front knee out to the wall behind you. Tailbone goes long, full navel to behind, reach your arms, relax to your shoulders. Gaze over your front fingers to free. We're gonna take a moment here to come back for our breath. And come back to the slow, long, deep, and even breath. Can you find relaxation in the strength? Relax your shoulders. Inhale, reverse your warrior, dropping your back arm down your back leg as you reach overhead. For now, keep the bend in your front knee and think more about reaching up rather than reaching back. Create space in your spine. Keep your upper body exactly how it is. And as you inhale, slowly begin to straighten through your right leg. Inhale, bring your arms back to center. And then reach as far forward to the front of the room as you can. Notice that my right leg is still straight. Then once you've reached as far as you can, right fingertips down toward your right leg, whether that's thigh, knee, shin is up to you. And reach that left arm high in triangle pose. So we've been in fallen triangle, now we're in regular triangle. Here I want you to tuck your tailbone under and notice that it brings you backwards into the pose. Roll that left hip open. See if you can get both shoulder blades to stack on top of each other and pull on the able to spine. Three. Then take a peek down at your right foot. Begin to take a slight bend in that right knee as you walk your right fingertips about two feet in front of your toes. You can bring your fingertips to the mat or hands to the block. Do not flat palm the floor though. Always fingertips. When you're ready, shift all your weight into your right leg as you lift your left leg high. Flex through that left foot. Open up your hips to the side wall, open up your chest, reach that left arm high for half them. Breathe. Take a moment here, find your stability. Once again, fall over, laugh, it's all great. Stay here in half moon. Or if you feel like finding your inner ninja, I always recommend trying it at least once, even if you fall over the whole time. As you exhale, you're gonna to start to drop, bend that left knee and drop forward to the front of the room. And as you inhale, you're gonna slowly come up to that one-legged Tadasana, lifting your left knee up nice and high. Breathe. Then as you exhale, draw that left knee out toward the side wall. And inhale, slowly let your right fingertips come down to the mat and open up into that half moon. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be on carpet. Breathe. Stay in half moon, or if you want to try it again and play ninja, inhale that left knee forward, or exhale your left knee forward. Inhale, one legged Tadasana. Exhale that left knee out. Inhale, slowly lower. One more time for good measure, exhale that left knee forward. Inhale, slowly come up, one legged Tadasana. Exhale that left knee out. Inhale, slowly lower, half moon, breathe. One more, inhale. Exhale, take a bend in your right knee. Step your left foot away behind you. Inhale, warrior two. I didn't say that I was gonna be able to balance it every day, I can't do it. So don't judge yourself if you can't balance every day either, three. Take an inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Step back to plank. And either lower and go through that flow. 
or exhale and push back down dog keeping that flow all together one more big flow like that then mostly stretchy good stuff from here on out so inhale that left leg high exhale your knee toward your nose inhale your leg high exhale knee to left elbow inhale your leg high exhale knee to right elbow hold it here and when you're ready kick that right leg or left leg straight up to the right side inhale roll onto the inner edge of your right foot inhale that right arm high breathe ball and triangle lift up lift up through your hips lift up through that top hand and maybe lift up through that left foot breathe one more inhale exhale slowly find your way to three-legged down dog putting that right hand down lifting your left leg high exhale knee to nose and step that foot forward in between your hands inhale open up warrior two once again back heels resting on your mat back leg is strong and engaged hips face the side wall draw your front knee out to the wall behind you tailbone goes long full navel to spine reach through your arm relax through your shoulders gaze over your front fingertips and take this moment just to breathe to come back to your breath inhale reverse your warrior keep that bend in your front knee and think more about reaching up rather than reaching back Then keeping your upper body just how it is. Inhale, straighten through that front leg, reverse warrior. Reverse triangle. Inhale, come back. Exhale, lean as far forward to the front of the room as you can. Left fingertips to your thigh, to your knee, to your shin, maybe to the block all the way down on the mat, whatever feels good for you today. But tuck that tailbone under and roll that right hip open. Roll that right shoulder open, lift through your top arm, breathe. Take this moment. And then take a gaze toward your left foot. Take a bend in your left knee as you walk your left fingertips about two feet in front of you. On the block, on a box, whatever you have, or fingertips to mat. Shift all your weight into your left foot. Open through your hips, open through your chest, reach that right arm high. Flex through that right foot, breathe. And you still have the option to stay here. If this is enough for you today, then awesome, stay here. Otherwise, take a moment, find your stability. And then when you're ready, exhale your right knee forward. Inhale, slowly come up to one leg of the dasana. Breathe. Exhale that right knee out. Inhale, slowly lower down to half moon. Try again, exhale that left, right knee forward. Inhale, one leg at Tadasana. Exhale that right knee out. Inhale, half move, three. One more time, this is the power of three. Exhale that right knee forward. Inhale, one leg at Tadasana. Exhale that right knee out. Inhale, half move, pause here. Find your stability. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend your left knee, step your right foot way behind you. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Step back to plank. And either lower and go through that flow, or exhale and push back down dog. Keeping that flow all together. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. Inhale that right leg high. Exhale, step your foot forward in between your hands. And this time, let your left foot, your back foot, back heel rest down on the mat. Toes are going to come to a 45 degree angle. Push it down through your left foot. And as you inhale, begin to straighten through that front leg. So here, your hands may need to come to your thigh or your calf 
maybe a block underneath your leg, and only maybe will your fingertips come all the way down to the mat. Once again, I'd rather your leg be straight than your fingertips touch the mat. Nothing magic happens if you touch the mat and if you tell your family, they really don't care. So listen to your hamstring instead. Then from here, I want you to inhale and lift halfway back up. Create that nice flat back. And before you fold, draw your right hip back, left hip forward, squaring your hips to the front of the room. Pull navel to spine. And then begin to hinge at your hips as you fold over that leg. Great. This is a deep stretch for your hamstring, so give them the second. Then begin to take a bend in that front knee. Roll up onto the ball of your left foot and heel toe your right foot to the outside edge of your mat so both hands are resting on the inside of your foot. Exhale, sink into your hips. And this is the pose leading up to the pose, our peak pose for the day, the pose this whole thing has been leading up to. So take your time here. If you'd like to more strength building pose here, you can stay up on the ball of your back foot, but you still have the option to drop down to your back knee and the top of your back foot. And don't get too comfortable here unless this is as far as you're going today. And if it is, maybe you want to bring your forearms down to the block or all the way down to the mat. Whatever feels good for you, remembering there should be no pain and you should still be able to breathe. If you'd like to go a little bit further here, you're gonna curl up onto the ball of your back foot, create that nice strong back leg. Here's where things get confusing, so listen carefully. You're going to take your right hand and reach it behind your right ankle to the outside of your right foot. Okay, so your right hand is underneath your right leg on the outside of that right foot. And then you're gonna awkward walk your right foot in a little bit. So here, before you go anywhere else, I recommend playing. Let the inside edge of your left foot rest and lift that left hand up. Can you come into a side plank here before you do anything else? If you can, you have a good strong foundation. Stay there if that's as far as you wanna go. Or maybe you walk your right foot toward your left hand. Maybe you lift that right foot up off the mat. Great. When you're ready, set that right foot back down. Inhale, make your way back up onto your hands no matter where you're at. And exhale, find your way back to down dog. Shake out that right leg. Stretch it out, do whatever you need to do here. And set it back down. One more side. Inhale that left leg high. Exhale, step your foot forward in between your hands. And let that right heel rest on your mat. Toes come to that 45 degree angle. Inhale, begin to straighten through your left leg. Remember, hands to thigh, hands to calf, hands all the way down to the mat, that's up to you or on the block. And then inhale, halfway lift. Create that nice flat back and draw your left hip back, right hip forward, even more than you think you should. Then exhale, hinge at your hips as you fold. Being gentle to your hamstring. Three. Take it from me, your hamstrings don't like to overstretch. Trust me, I've torn my hamstring at least once on each leg, so be nice to it. One more inhale. Exhale, take a bend in your left knee, roll up onto the ball of your right foot. And then heel toe, that left foot to the outside edge of your mat. So both hands are resting on the inside of your foot. We're gonna take a few breaths here, so take your time. Maybe you stay up on the ball of your back foot. Maybe you drop down to your back knee and the top of your back foot. Either way, sink into those hips. If you're not trying the other pose, you're cool, you don't wanna do it, and you're here and you're okay, and you'd like to go deeper in the forearms to block or forearms all the way down to the mat. Find your version of lizard. If your hips are starting to feel open, you're like, yeah, I'll try it on this side, even if I don't get all the way, that's okay. Roll up onto the ball of your back foot, engage that back leg. Left hand comes underneath your left leg, 
to the outside of your left foot. Roll on to the inner edge of your right foot. And then I always like to try, inhale that right arm high to see where I really want my hand and my foot. So go ahead and try that. Maybe this is as far as you get today and that's awesome. Maybe you walk that left foot to your right hand, grab your left foot and your right hand and lift it up off the mat. Three. When you're ready to come out, gently let that left foot rest. Somehow untangle yourself. Step back to down dog and shake out that left leg. Breathe. Exhale your left foot down to the mat. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth. Exhale. Let it go. All stretching, I promise. Inhale that right leg high. Exhale, draw your knee toward your right wrist. And gently set that leg down on the mat, bringing your right ankle toward your left wrist. And walk that back leg behind you just a little bit. So here, if you're already in pain, if this already does not feel good, make your way onto your back. And in a second, I will show you a different way to do the exact same stretch. Otherwise, the closer this front heel is to your body, the less intense the pose. The further away from your body it is, the more intense, so make any adjustments you need to here. Otherwise, pull everything into the midline and inhale, elongate through the crown of your head. Then exhale, allow your forearms to rest on the mat. And take a moment here just to notice. Notice if one hip is dipping down closer to the mat than the other. Maybe all you do today is notice. Maybe you gently try and even them out. Stay here, or if there is no pain and you'd like to go a little bit deeper, maybe forehead to black, forehead to hand, or forehead all the way down to the mat, remembering that you should still be able to breathe. If you found your way onto your back, you're going to draw your right ankle over your left knee. Maybe this is as far as you go, or maybe you reach through and grab the back of that left thigh. Same stretch, just a different way. If you're on your back, you're not going to switch sides until we're all the way into our left side. So just take your time, hang out, enjoy that stretch. No matter where you are, breathe. Inhale, make your way back up onto your hands. Exhale, curl your back toes under and push all the way back to three-legged dog. Once again, stretching out that right leg, shaking it out. Do whatever you need to do. And set your foot down on the mat. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, your left knee toward your left wrist, your left ankle toward your right wrist, and gently set that leg down on the mat. Then walk that back leg a little bit further behind you. This side might not feel the same as the other side, so maybe on this side you need to make your way onto your back. Otherwise, the closer this front heel is to your body, the less intense the pose. The further away from your body it is, the more intense to so make any adjustments you need to. Fingertips to the mat, pull everything into the midline, and inhale, elongate through the crown of your head. Then exhale, slowly make your way onto your forearm. If you are on your back, don't forget to switch to your left side. Take a moment here before you go any deeper to notice if one hip is dipping down closer to the mat than the other. Maybe all you do today is notice. Maybe you gently try and even them out. Breathe. Then once again, stay here. Forehead to block. Forehead to hand. Or forehead all the way down to the mat. Take whatever you need today. And just breathe.
Inhale, make your way back up onto your hands. Exhale, curl your back toes under and send that left leg all the way up and back to three-legged dog. Shake it out, stretch it out, do whatever you feel like you need to do. And set that left foot back down on the mat. And just take a moment here to notice your last down dog of the day. Notice how it feels different compared to the first. Then allow your knees to rest back down on the mat as you find your way into tabletop. Here we're going to inhale our left arm high as we open up through that chest. Then exhale, thread your left arm underneath your right as you let your ear and cheek rest down on the mat. Breathe. And stay here in this awesome stretch just the way it is, if that's enough for you. Or if you'd like a little bit more, inhale that right arm high and exhale, wrap it around the small of your back as you exaggerate and roll that right shoulder open. Breathe. Inhale that right arm high. Exhale, set your hand back down on the mat. Inhale, make your way back to tabletop. Then inhale your right arm high as you open up your chest to sidewalk. Exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left as you let your ear and cheek rest down on the mat. And take a moment just in this stretch, just the way it is. Then you can stay here. Or maybe inhale that left arm high. And exhale, wrap it around the small of your back as you exaggerate and roll that top shoulder open. Three. Inhale your left arm high. Exhale, plant your hand back down on the mat and inhale, make your way back to tabletop. And gently make your way into a seated position. We're going to bring the soles of our feet together and let our knees fall open. And then open up your feet like a book so your pinky edge is touching but your big toes are not. Inhale, elongate through the crown of your head. And exhale, begin to hinge at your hips as you fold. Imagine that your nose is coming in front of your toes. And then once you fold it as far as you can, go ahead and let your head and neck hang heavy. Because our hands and our feet aren't actually doing very much in this pose, I invite you to take a second to show your feet some love and just give them a little bit of massage. We tend to forget about them and stand on them all day, so sometimes it's nice to just show them a little bit of love. Inhale, gently make your way back up to seated. We're going to find our way onto our back. Shavasana is coming up soon, so if you'd like a blanket or a pillow, grab that, keep that close by. Maybe it's a sweatshirt, whatever you need, just kind of keep it handy. And once you've made your way onto your back, draw your knees into your chest and give yourself a nice big squeeze. Maybe rocking from side to side if it's comfortable for you. Just massaging your back. Releasing your kidneys. Gently come back to center and reach your arms out to the side for airplane wings. Set your toes down on the mat and scoot your hips an inch or two to the left as you let your knees fall to the right. Make any adjustments so both shoulder blades are resting on your mat. And then maybe bring your gaze to your opposite hand. Closing your eyes if it's comfortable for you. Breathe. Inhale, come back to center and scoot your hips an inch or two to the left as you let your knees fall to the right. 
otherwise. Get your hips and inner teeth to the right as you let your knees fall to the left. Make any adjustments so both shoulder blades are resting on your mouth. And maybe bring your gaze to your opposite hand, closing your eyes if it's comfortable for you. Breathe. Inhale, come back to center. Draw your knees into your chest as you give yourself one last final big squeeze here. Then gently stretch your legs out onto the mat. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead as you reach fingers and toes to opposite ends of the room. Exhale, gently release. Allow your feet to fall wherever they'd like and bring your arms down by your side, palms face up. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Take another deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, release. Big, deep breath in. Last, open mouth, exhale. Let it go and allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Feel your muscles growing heavy as you sink deeper into your mouth. Smooth out the wrinkles in your forehead and allow all the thoughts to escape your mind as you come back to your breath as we rest in our final pose. Knowing that you can stay in this pose as long as you need to, it is here for you. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Namaste.